Hello creators, welcome back. This is Bucky Dirtle and I am doing a, another video tutorial on VCV Rack. Now, VCV Rack is the open source modular synthesis platform. It's a DAW, a digital audio workstation. It is very, very cool. Now, I have done several tutorials, many tutorials, on various different modules that we can find for Rack. And today I'm doing another one. This is by Auten. You can see it right here. Auten and Jete. This is the uh, oscillator. Now it doesn't look like it's a, like much on the go here in this oscillator, but it is. It's very, very cool way that this oscillator Jete plays with the waveform. So we're gonna look at how it works and like the physics behind it. Okay, let's have a look. Before I get started, I'll show you that I have my. This is my um, audio interface, and I'm also running a mixer right here, VC mixer. And to show you the sound as, as well as hear it, we have um, Analyzer by uh, Bog Audio. And this is a frequency analyzer. There's a tutorial in here that I've done on this one. You can find in utopian.io. Um, so this is a frequency analyzer. I love this. And also another one I love is Scope. This is Fundamentals uh, Pack. I also have uh, several times I've talked about this, um, this scope. It's really cool. So with these tools we can hear and see what we're what we're getting in our sound so um, I'll turn up some sound first and let you have a listen we have three different uh, we have three different sounds here uh, three different waveforms that we can select through by clicking this button and it'll change our sound for us so you might be saying three sounds that's it that's not much well there's a lot of things we can do with this okay first of all what Jete does is it lets us control um, different variables within the the uh, the oscillator with this with these uh, eight sliders. Now the easiest thing it does is it controls the, to say the easiest thing it does is it controls the um, the amplitude or the volume of different overtones within a waveform. So the the lowest the the the, the fundamental the base um, foundation tone uh, is the fundamental and we would say that this is the fundamental right here this slider would control the fundamental so the other ones would control other things as well so in order for me to show you this first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these down to zero so I'm going to take every one of these sliders down to zero and you can see what's happening on the on the scopes there there's changes taking place already so we're going to turn it all the way down except the fundamental we turn the fundamental in halfway and and let's just see what we have okay oh and by the way this changes our frequency okay so we'll just set it in the center uh, now you can see we have a um, we have a sine wave and the amplitude of the sine wave is increased and decreased by uh, by this first slider now let's change our waveform I'm going to hit this button and it's going to go to waveform number two you can see it's another sine wave, but it's, it's it's shorter, it's smaller, so the amplitude's changed. And here you go again, amplitude changed a little bit again. Okay, so you can see that with the fundamental, there's not a lot changing between waveform to waveform. Okay, let's take our next slider and slide it up. And look at that. It's a fold happening at the top of the waveform. You see that? And at the same time, you can see our frequency. We have an overtone that's popping up right here. A harmonic, an overtone is coming up. So, so there you go. Now, let's just take the next slider and see what happens with the next one. Now, look at the waveform. Look at the waveform, the way it's changing, the way it's changing shape. But look at this overtone. There's a higher overtone right here. Let's take that one down and try the next one. This is slider number four. And look at that. Another overtone. Okay, so let's now that's our first four sliders. Let's play with those a little bit. And you can see we can we can shape the sound by changing the overtone, the amount of overtones that we're having. So you may say you want a certain want this overtone a little higher or lower you want to maybe want the fundamental to be the biggest and the other one's just a small amount it's all over the place you can do what you like 
Okay, so let's just take those guys down again. I'll put this guy down a little bit lower, the fundamental down to halfway. Now let's try slider number five. And look at that. And again, our waveform is changing. You can see it, but it's changing because we're introducing another, um, another. Uh, we're we're accentuating, um, raising the amplitude of one of the one of the overtones. Try the next one. And the next, and the next. And you can you can raise these and bring these up up and down depending on what you're looking for. And we take we bring the other ones up a little bit too. You see, we're getting a certain type of sound now. Okay, so so that's that. Now let's just change our let's just change our waveform. Now look at that. It's a triangle wave. So now let's see what that does for us. So our triangle wave, we have our overtones, but they're not having a whole lot of difference in the wave shape. But the in this waveform, the fundamental is by far the strongest. Look, see this here? The fundamental is by far the strongest um, part of the wave, overtone. You can barely hear the other overtones. Now, while we thought at the beginning, when I, if I take these guys down, it turns into a uh, sine wave. You see, if I bring these down, if I brought them all the way down to the bottom, it would be, this would be our sine wave, because remember I showed you at the beginning, this was a sine wave. Now, let's just try the next waveform. I'll bring all these guys back up a little. See, I'll bring this guy down, so we'll just even them out a little. Now, let's try the third waveform. Look at that. Looks like some kind of um, saw wave, you know? It's like a ramp. And we can change these guys. You can see it will. You can see over here our fundament, our overtones, how they're laid out. And we can adjust these as we want. And we'll change the sound. Now, let's just switch between these waveforms again. Now, I want you to watch that again, and I want you to watch the way that these um, frequencies of each of the uh, overtones, the harmonics, how they respond. Much wider on this one, aren't they? And this one is wider but it's wide but it's but they're not that accentuated so by playing with these sliders you know we I'm, I have them right up at the top here but really you don't really want to be like that you want to be able to probably work off a center line and then be able to accentuate certain overtones as you want rather than say everything being up near the top so you can play with it that way and if I switch to an so you can see that we have a lot of control over how the um, over how the the frequencies sound, the overtones sound in each of these sound waves. And you saw here we're, we're provided with three different waves. Well, when we when we have everything turned down, they're all sine waves. But as we start in bringing in our sliders, the sound waves change. We see a triangle. We see a saw wave. We see we see a, a very distorted. Um, uh, sine wave. Uh, I said triangle, saw, and sine. Yeah. So um, these overtones, as you bring them in, changes the actual shape of the original wave. Anyway, it's very exciting. I really like this. I really like this um, oscillator. I think that if you were doing things where you were trying to make a, you know, uh, sort of electric piano sound or, or some kind of like a like a piano sound or something like that, you could have a lot of fun with this because some of these uh, really nice sounding melodic instruments, like a, like an electric piano, um, I'm thinking like a Rhodes or a, uh, a Wolitzer piano, some of these sound really, really great. Um, and it's because the overtones, the way the overtones play out, um, they sound fantastic. So this might be a great little tool for you to design um, different instrumental sounds, uh, like I'm saying instrumental, it's all instrumental, but I mean, say melodic sound, melodic instrument sounds like that, like keyboard sounds. 
could be very, very useful. So that is jete, and that's Auten, Auten's jete. Now, Auten has a lot of modules. I'll be looking at some of those in the future. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to be doing and when, but they have a lot of different, uh, really interesting looking um, uh, modules. You can get the... Um, you can get the Auten module pack at the through the the uh, ma the manage plugins right here on VCB rack and you can get it it's free it's open source so uh, feel free to grab it but also if you like what you see here make sure you go to the developers website and show your support for Auten because they're doing great work and you know you should show your support for it so there you go that's Jete by Auten the module for VCB rack Thank you very much for watching, and if you want to get in touch with me, feel free to leave a message in the um, in the comments for this post. Also, you can get me on um, Utopian.io's um, Discord channel. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.